Hello everyone, uh, my name is Yuri Nesbitt and uh, I'm with EXP Realty and a couple of weeks ago I shot the video about increasing uh, of interest rate and how it's going to affect the market and at that point we had uh, a showing at one Stedman uh, place so I wanted to give you an update on, on, on those things and if you would like to see future videos please uh, uh, click the subscribe button and click the like and you will receive notifications when the new uh, videos come up. Let's get right into it. The Stedman place sold for $800,000. Uh, it was listed for $599. It was kind of a bit of a rocky thing uh, when uh, the interest rate changed uh, and so they took it off the market. They put it back on the market at $749 and still got it over the asking price. And I'm just going to remind you what uh, I was talking about uh, last time. So basically, in my opinion, uh, that the interest rates have an impact on the um, uh, pricing, on values of the homes. However, not uh, for a long time. It's going to be short-lived and we're seeing it now year over year. We're, not, we're still in, in the plus. We're still seeing an increase. However, year, uh, sorry, month over month, uh, starting March, April, we see a slight either decline or a reduction or the uh, steady price. But it's uh, still higher by 20% or so compared to last year. Like, uh, again, uh, I will show you the, some of the numbers uh, to confirm that. Uh, but from January to February, some of the prices have gone up, some of the prices have gone down on average. And then from January or from February to March to April, they kind of slightly reduced a little bit. But then again, we've seen those, uh, that's, uh, I call it the transitional period, where the uh, prices were overinflated by 10-20% anyway so they had to reduce those prices those were not realistic uh, numbers and that's why it reduced now when it comes to the long-term game even even if they're gonna increase the uh, interest rate next month or this month actually maybe another quarter of a percent maybe another half percent is still not going to have a long-lasting impact. People will need the time to adjust, uh, and we see it again uh, through the statistics where uh, we see the numbers of, of sold places drop, and uh, the uh, listings are, are higher, and that's pretty much why the, that, uh, the reduction in price happening, because of a simple supply and demand. And this is what I've been preaching for a long time. We're still short on a, on a supply, uh, even, even though we have a... Um, increase in supply right now however it's not gonna have a huge impact uh, again a long long run because we short to big time and and this is i think i've alluded to that uh, before but i am gonna go over it again so right now we have 600,000 or so backlog with immigration canada for those people that uh, want to come in to, to the country and they've been issued uh, <clears throat> visas and that kind of stuff. And this is delayed going back from two years ago uh, when the COVID started. So this is caused by COVID and the immigration delay. Now this year we're inviting 431,000 uh, people to uh, come to Canada. Those haven't been processed yet uh, and uh, we're still waiting for those to come. Now we have another wave of uh, people that come into Canada and, and I've heard the last time uh, that 200,000 applications been issued uh, to Ukrainians uh, fleeing from war which gonna end up in Canada and they will all need housing to live. So now let's just uh, take some hypothetical numbers. Uh, so total we have 600, 400 and 200,000 people. That equates to 1.2 million people. And if uh, every family has three members, uh, that requires 400,000 units. Doesn't matter whether they're buying or selling or you know renting, they still need those, those properties. You know, I mean, mainly the, uh, those people will be buying or, or renting, right? So that's 400,000 units that we need uh, this year, literally this year. Now next year is going to be another 400,000 people. That equates to 130 uh, homes that we need to fill or need to build or or find uh, you know availability, right? And that's going on, going uh, consistently year after year after year. And this is just for the immigration. And uh, the, recently I've looked into the new construction numbers and we're building, we have approximately 1,000 1100 or so projects in Ontario uh, across the country is going to be more but let's say 1000 homes being built let's uh, pretend that every project has 300 units in it which may not be true because some of them are high rises some of them are just 
uh, condos and uh, single homes and there could be maybe 20, 20 units or something like that in that uh, subdivision. But even if that's true, uh, then uh, you know, we have 300,000 units being built right now. However, keep in mind those projects are spread out over five to six years because some of them are uh, already you know, built and some of them uh, haven't even uh, broken the ground. So it may take five to six years to fill that gap sort of thing. So if we divide that 300,000 uh, houses into six, that's into six years, it's 50,000 units per year. And we need, at this point, we need 400, uh, 120,000 uh, homes every year going after. So from that perspective, we're short on inventory uh, big time. And uh, unless we e either we tame the uh, immigration or reduce the number of people coming in, we may not be able to catch up. Uh, now, keep in mind, I haven't even touched on uh, natural growth, natural buying trends sort of thing, that we, you know, kids buying people buying investment properties, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that uh, the reasons people are buying. So keep that in mind. Uh, I don't think this uh, uh, reduction in price that we see now, maybe 5% or so, that's going to last long. Uh, once the people adjust to it, uh, we're still going to be going strong and the uh, market will again correct itself in a, in a positive way sort of thing or it'll start, start going up again, maybe in six months or so. Stay, stay tuned for, for new, new videos, for new updates. My name is Yuri Nesbitt and I'm with EXP Realty. And don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you, bye-bye.